Hello and welcome to this Sage X3 Fixed Assets short video tutorial. Let's begin by going into today's topic. Today's topic is how to simplify an asset entry by automating the loading of some fields. So let's take a look at the functions that we wanted to um, focus on. First, associations definitions. It's located on the setup, fixed assets, and associations definitions. So what that means is upon creation or modification of an expenditure and an asset, some data can be determined depending on the value of another item of data. It is called field associations. It is used to simplify the entry by automating the loading of some fields. The setup of a field association can be divided into two steps. One, the definition of the field association is specified by the determinant and determined fields. Second, the matching for each field association between the values in the determinant field and the value in each of the determined fields. This setup is carried out at associations values function level. Note, the same fields cannot be determined in two field associations, that is, the accounting group and the accounting code. On the other hand, the two field associations can be complementary. The accounting group can, for example, determine the accounting code and the accounting code can determine the asset type. For the expenditure, the object determined field is the group, asset groups function. It's located under common data, fixed assets tables. So asset groups, accounting groups are used when creating an asset or expense. Using the headings associations, the group can determine values such as the accounting code of the asset as well as field values such as accounting allocations and depreciation methods. Finally, the associations values. It's located on a common data, fixed assets tables. This function is used to specify the correspondence between the value of the decisive section and the value of each given section. These correspondences can be established for each association defined via the association's definition function. What is a business object? Job object involved in the association. In creation mode, this field is filled in with the object specified in the association definition function and is not modifiable when the screen is called from this function. Otherwise, the job object must be entered. What is decisive? It is the determinant field of the association. If the object concerned by the association is asset, we have two choices, accounting group or accounting code. On the other hand, if the object concerned by the association is expenditure, we only have one selection, which is accounting group. In creation, this field is filled in with the determining section outlined in the association definition function and is not modifiable. Otherwise, this section must be entered. All right, so we did um, quickly um, go over some of the functions that are involved when setting up uh, the default values uh, so that uh, when we create an asset um, by using these default values uh, it will be an easy entry instead of going through each and every field. So let's um, take a look in the system how we can set it up and how it works. So before we um, before I show you how to set it up I just wanted to give you a brief introduction as to what I meant uh, by these default values and how it works. 
So let's quickly go into Sage X3 and take a look at it. Okay. So uh, this is uh, version 12 image. And first, before we do anything, we have to have our um, depreciation context set up for the company. And also we have to have the fiscal year specified. So after that, uh, we can uh, go under uh, setup, fixed assets. and associations definition. This is where we start. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, let me just, before we go into the setup, I will just show you uh, how it works. So if I go to fixed assets and assets, And let me create a new asset. So the company NA20, site is NA023, and the asset reference. And let's uh, just uh, give the date, purchase date, January 1st, uh, 2020, and then leave the rest. Uh, to the same date and then just tab out and when you come to the family field let's select the group I have created so office furniture for example so you can see as soon as I selected the office furniture the accounting code for that particular group is defaulted and the asset type is defaulted and the stability type is defaulted status Along with that, I also have the depreciation method, duration, prorata type are all defaulted. So um, I just have to enter the, the value of the asset and then click create. So it's that easy uh, to create an asset when we have the, um, the automation of the loading of some fields set up is uh, created so uh, now we have seen um, how what it what it does so let's quickly set, take a look at the setup of it so I have um, saved the fa under favorites the functions so first we need to uh, go into associations definitions and in association definitions um, we can click create new and select uh, the company Co model and the business object um, is the asset. So if you can uh, select uh, the drop arrow, you can see the two options. One is asset and expense. So here we are focusing on the asset. So when after you select the object asset, the decisive um, selection, which is either the asset group or the accounting code. So here I'm selecting the asset group. Okay, so active checkbox is checked. Now, um, so after having selected the job object, then the determinant field, it is necessary to select the fields retained as determined fields. So these here under the asset entity and the plan accounts are the determinant fields or determined fields. A field is selected when the manage box is active. So you can make this selection by either checking the manage box or you can check the changeable box. Like for example, you can click changeable and the manage box will get checked. So the, um, the force flag uh, is used to indicate that the value of the field determined by the association will overwrite any value already present in this field. So if you want, you can check the force flag, but uh, what it does, it will do is that um, when you have an existing value and you have this force value checked, um, 
that will override any existing values. Um, the modifiable flag is used to indicate that the value determined by the association remains modifiable by the user. So those are the three uh, flags for each d d determined fields. So for this example, I have selected uh, the type of assets, accounting code, status, stability, uh, and then under the plan, I have the depreciation method, depreciation period, and then the pro rata type. Okay, so once uh, you have selected those, you can click create, and then end out of the function, and let's go to the other function that we need is the asset groups. So under asset groups, we can create new, and then you know legislation, and then the family code. We can put in equip and a description, short description, and click create. So once I have the asset groups defined. I can go into the last uh, setup, which is the association's values. So we have defined the determined, fi determined fields. Under the asset definitions, we have defined the, the, gru um, the groups. And, and now, finally, we can uh, provide the values for those um, associations. So. Let me create new so that you can see when I click new, uh, the company field is enabled. So select the company, account core model is defaulted. And then under the business object, I selected asset earlier. And then the asset group as a decisive determinant. Um, and then the value is what I have created under the um, groups, which is the cube equipment and then you can see I have the option or the field val fields are all enabled that I can uh, populate the value so you can use the magnifying glass and select which ones that you wanted to use when you are creating an asset right so I have the accounting code so I'm going to use the equip accounting code that has the accounting codes necessary to post all the equipments uh, and then the status is the um, you know you can select autonomous principal component and also finally the stability is fixed and then we go to the plan values so the accounts uh, so I can select uh, the UL the straight line method pro rata is monthly and then the duration, I can put uh, any uh, number of years, uh, so five years, and that's it. So I click create. So once I cre once I finish creating the association's values, we can uh, run another test by generating a new asset for this um, uh, association equip. Okay, so let's click create new and create a new asset reference and let's select a date and here under the family we can select the uh, group I selected created a kit and you can see the accounting code is defaulted and the rest of the fields that I have uh, selected under the associations uh, been defaulted. And also over here under the depreciations tab, you can see the depreciation method, duration, and the pro rata. And just have to enter the balance sheet value. Click create. That's it. So that's all I have for today. And thank you for joining and listening to this recording. Have a good day.